That's it. I want this jelly. Jelly, I can do it. Just take gelatin. More sugar. And of course, water. Let's mix it up. There should be a lot of good jelly. Of all tastes and colors. This form is perfect. Well, we will fill the first layer. And I'll add homemade <laughs> strawberry jam from grandma to my wow. jelly. Mixing it up. Doing it well. Now I need something from my purse. False teeth. No. Knitting kit? Not either. And here is my mold. Yes. That's where I'll pour my jelly. Oh no, I'm going to sneeze. Oh shit! My glasses! I can't see anything at all. I'll put the jelly in the refrigerator. Then I'll look for them. Where am I? It's hot in here. And how it's cold here. Ah! And now it's really damp. Gelatine? Well, no, marmalade is better. Hello, Mr. Bear. You ain't my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. Now I'll put you all in the plate. And I'll try one. Okay, fine, I'd rather not. A little here, here, and here. Yeah, more. Something is missing. Oh, for sure, strawberries will perfectly complement my marmalade cube. Cool. Oh, that was great. And now, other layers. Beauty, the only thing left to decorate with strawberries, and it's perfect. Now this delicious cream. I will decorate each layer. Doing it like a pro. And a couple more strawberries on the top. Perfect. Oh, grandma's back. Grandma, wait! Here are your glasses! Is that better? Oh, thank you, Ben. You're such a good boy. <laughs> what kind of plants are these? The only thing left to lay out the jelly. Let's see. Yeah. Paige, what do you think? Wow, so much jelly. Where to start? I'll start with this cube. These are marmalade bears. I love them. I'll take the whole cube at once. Hey, they're scattered. And the cube is empty. It won't do. Let's try grandma's jelly. It's so elastic. Even too elastic. I need a fork. Oh, you can't even pierce it. Okay, I'll have to work with my hands. But what's inside? Grandma, are these your glasses? Ah, ew. All right, jelly cake, it's your time. How funny it shakes. Let's try it. Mmm, jelly. Strawberry and cream go so well together. Tina, you've won, and I want more. Well, how could it be otherwise? Well, well, now I want ice cream. Can you handle it? That's right, it's easy. Milk from a bottle? Well, no, I need the freshest ingredients. Hello, cow, thanks for the fresh milk. Now I will mix this milk with sugar in my professional mixer. I'll pour it into mold and insert sticks. Let's put the mold in the bowl and get something out of my suitcase. 
liquid nitrogen will instantly freeze ice cream. Aw, oh, Tina, you're complicating things again. Watch and learn. We'll put the ice cream aside. And in the meantime, we'll make waffles from milk, sugar, flour, and eggs. Mix it well together. And pour the dough into the waffle iron. Wait a bit. And while the waffle is still hot, we make a cone out of it. Just in this shape. Ah, perfect. And now I'll take the ice cream to the refrigerator. Let it harden for now. Just wait a bit. Milk? It's too complicated. Oh, that's right. I have an idea. I'll take Sprite and stick a wand in it. And now I'll freeze it in the refrigerator. Grandma, did you fall asleep? What? What? Oh, I dozed off. Thanks for waking me up, Ben. My ice cream is frozen. And I'll freeze mine. Oh, perfect popsicle. The perfect one was in my childhood. And this one is, ah, uh, fine. Okay, Grandma, the only thing left is to cover my popsicle with icing and small decorations to give them the look of cute animals. Paige will definitely like it. Oh, I know what Paige likes. Now I'm going to make a few balls out of my ice cream. Just what you need. And the ice cream itself really turned out delicious. <laughs> Do you want to try it, Ben? Sorry, Grandma, I'm busy. It's not coming out. Oh, I hadn't thought of it at all. Although, I'll just cut the bottle with a chainsaw. Remove the axes and my ice cream is ready. Huh, cool. Help yourself, Paige. Wow, that's great! And what is this? Heavy? It seems not bad. Oh, it fell and broke. Oops, too much of a person. Which popsicle to choose? Wow, let there be a pig. Hmm, it's so delicious and very cute. And what does grandma have? Wow, like in my drawing. Mmm, it tastes even better than I imagined. Grandma, this is definitely a victory. Oh, yes. Well, take a bite, Tina. Don't worry, Ben. And now I want marshmallows. Isn't it cute? Again, something incomprehensible. But there will surely be something in my recipe book. Pie, scrambled eggs. Hmm, I think I need chocolate. And of course, marshmallows. I'll put the first layer of chocolate and a layer of marshmallows on top. Ah, oh, we needed a whole pack. Now I need an oven. Oh no! Oh. Thanks, Ben. You saved me in my dish. I'll be more careful. I'll put the mold in the oven. Need to wait. Hmm. What do I have to do right now? Oh, that's right. I'll watch my favorite TV series on TV. Ah. Oh. So funny. Uh, what should I do with marshmallows? I have an idea. Now I'm going to make a rabbit out of it. Now I'll draw eyes and mouth. It's perfect. Oh, I'll cook everything myself. Mix gelatin with sugar and water and beat them well. I'll put it in a syringe and pour it inside the tubes. Wow, 
What color should I choose? Still red. I'll add it to the remains of the liquid marshmallow and mix it again. The color is what you need. And now, I'll use the syringe again. Here are the marshmallow braids with your own hands. Look at this, so beautiful. The only thing left is to glue them together into one big rope. Absolutely perfect! Ooh, what is this? Why is this marshmallow so long? Tina twists marshmallows into a snail? Well, that's cool. I think I can try it. Uh, uh, I didn't get anything. The perfect spiral. By the way, where is grandma? Well, that's right. Where is she? Oh, what a tragic series. I can't watch anymore. But my marshmallows are ready. It's time to bring them to Paige. Hmm, what a fragrance. Wow, what a cute rabbit. What an interesting pie. And what a steep spiral. I'll start with it. It's so big. Mmm, and delicious. Very delicious. And now, grandma's pie. Wow, they're so stringy and go so well with chocolate. Mmm, Grandma, this is very tasty. Ah, oh, Granny, it's so good. Cool. Oh, so small. Just little rabbits here. So cute. And so delicious. Ah, oh, yeah, very delicious. Ben, this time the victory is yours. For cuteness. Oh, yeah, I want. I can't resist the sweetness. What do I want to eat? I came up with something. I want waffles. Delicious homemade waffles with cream and strawberries. Half else, Granny Betty is ready to knead the dough. Simple homemade waffles? No problem. Ready to fight? Yum, yum. What's wrong? We have a culinary challenge? Oh, right. Yeah, but we need to feed baby Emma, not you, Susie. My dear Emma asked for waffles and Grandma will cook them right now. I'll knead the dough. I'll pour more flour. I'll break an egg. Lots of sugar. And the freshest milk. And now I will shake everything properly with the whisk. The dough should be mixed well so there are no lumps. What are you looking at, Rose? Her dough is so thick. But mine is just perfect consistency. It can easily be poured into plates. Add a drop of food coloring to each and knead the dough. And now I'll get multicolored dough from which I will make rainbow waffles. These will be the best waffles. All right. Yeah, we'll see who's gonna win. Oh, they have already made the dough? What should I do? I came up with something. I'll make Nutella dough. Add flour and milk directly into the jar and knead. The chocolate dough is ready. And now I can pour it into a waffle iron. A beautiful brown waffle will come out of it. The only thing left is to wait. Wow, what are they doing there? So interesting. I'll pull layers of multicolored dough into a waffle iron. Carefully so the colors won't mix. I will get rainbow waffles in the shape of hearts. Beautiful and delicious. In any dish, the main thing is serving. I'll put colored waffles on a skewer, dip them in tips and chocolate, then in colored sprinkles. I'll lay it out beautifully on a plate and voila! Delicious and beautiful waffles are ready! Yeah, maybe grandma didn't cook such beautiful waffles, but grandma knows what to add to them. You need to thoroughly pour maple syrup over the waffles, then add a mash of chocolate sauce, sprinkle powdered sugar on top, and add strawberries. And now the perfect waffles are ready. I'm better anyway. Oh, what should I decorate the waffles with? Yeah, I came up with something. Decorate waffles with Skittles candies. 
so they will also be multicolored and very tasty. Well, now everything's ready. You can try dishes. Hmm, where should I start? I'll try these waffles. They look very appetizing. Also with strawberries, as I wanted. Hmm, just melt in my mouth. I'll just lick my fingers off. Which ones to try next? These rainbow hearts look unusual. I've never seen such waffles before. I'll try both waffles at once. I like it very much. Wow, this waffle is so unusual. I'll try it. It wasn't easy to take a bite, but the taste is wonderful. Is that a Nutella waffle? Hmm, what should I choose? It's so hard to decide. All waffles are very good. Mmm, so delicious. Emma, did you like my waffles, baby? Grandma, I liked everything. And now I've eaten too much. Help! We overfed her. Well, congratulations to all the participants. This round is a tie. And now I want... I want a cocoa with marshmallows. Hey, wake up! Coco, yes, baby sister. Coco, really? Okay. I love Coco too. Hey, Grandma, wake up! I'll feed everyone. Good morning, Grandma. Rise and shine. Ah, uh, what? Does my granddaughter want Coco? Now Grandma will cook it. Drink milk, kids. Now let's take some Nutella. But first, Grandma will try it herself. Mmm, delicious. I'll scoop up more pasta and add it to the warm milk. Now we need to mix everything well. It's boiling. Do you feel what a wonderful fringus it has? Mmm, how good it smells. I'll do it too. I'll take the milk. Only for some reason it doesn't open. Uh, ow! I'm all wet! The main thing is that there is still milk left. And I can make cocoa for my sister. And now I'll add some chocolates. I'll lay them out and rouse. Like this. Oh, you little chocolate. Did you think you'd leave me? Ah, uh, no. I'll cook you too. The only thing left is to tamp everything down. Susie, what are you... Oh, fine. I will prepare an exquisite dessert, a chocolate bomb. Mmm, yeah. Pour the sauce into the molds in the form of hemispheres. Then I will evenly distribute it with a spoon on the sides of the mold. I'll put them to cool, and after a while, I'll get the finished hemispheres. The only thing left is to fill them with stuffing and connect. I will use cocoa powder as a filling. I'll put a teaspoon of cocoa in each half. Then I'll take a handful of marshmallows and put them on top. The only thing left is to cover the second half, and the bombs are ready. The final touches. I'll pour chocolate sauce on the bombs and sprinkle with coconut chips. Beauty. The bombs should be served with a glass of warm milk. A masterpiece. Ah, uh, and what are you cooking, big deal? Grandma turned out no worse. I'll pour cocoa into a cup and put marshmallows on top. It will melt from the hot cocoa. Mmm, what a fragrance. <sighs> and of course, I'll add Oreo chocolate cookies. After all, my granddaughter loves to drink cocoa with chocolate cookies. <sighs> Is that how drinks are served? What a nightmare! Help! Fire! I did it. This is a new recipe. I just came up with it. Here, everything is ready. Ah, oh, Susie. You shouldn't be allowed to the stove. Hooray! I can finally try. What is it? It smells like something burned. I'll try a piece. 
Ugh, it tastes just awful. This should be thrown out. What should I try now? Mmm, my favorite Oreos. Grandma knows that I like to drink cocoa with Oreo cookies. You can soak cookies in cocoa, and it will become soft and will melt in your mouth. Mmm, very tasty. Cocoa also has a wonderful taste. Grandma, you did well. You cooked the way I love it. Hmm, what a strange chocolate ball. I haven't tried this yet. Probably you need to pour milk on it. Wow, it's melting. And there are marshmallows inside. Wow, I'll taste it now. Very delicious. I like it. I choose this drink. I cooked it. I won. It was obvious. Big deal. That's a snob. Well, I suggest starting with a simple one. Cook me a delicious pasta. Easy as pie. To do this, you will need the most ordinary spaghetti. Uh, I've never cooked anything like this in my life, but I think I can do it. But how do I put all the spaghetti in this tiny frying pan? Uh. Yeah, it's a tough case. Watch and learn. You just need to break the spaghetti, then they will definitely fit. Now they need to be boiled and stirred regularly. <gasps> oh, it's even easier than I thought. Damn it! My spaghetti turned out. Oh, phew. it's disgusting. Ew, sorry. Uh, did he throw the pot away? Yeah, I think I know who's going to lose for sure. And I know who will win. I am. Instead of this small saucepan, I use a large frying pan on which I will fry fresh tomatoes first. And now, you can add a little spaghetti. Yeah, this is how real pasta is prepared. Nonsense, you forgot to drain the water. Here's how it's done. See? <laughs> oh, I can't see anything. I need something to wipe my glasses with. Uh. Oh, Betty, I hope you don't mind. My chef costume is not for that. What? I cook the most delicious dishes in it. Oh, I don't need a suit for that. I will please my granddaughter with delicious pasta anyway. Like that. And what should I do? Oh, that's right. Why not use an old spaghetti recipe? You just need to take two packs of noodles and boil them in the kettle. It's faster, simple, and very tasty. The original way. And I'm going to add some grated cheese to the spaghetti. So my dish will become even tastier. How sloppy. All this should be done with a sense of beauty. And a little sausage wouldn't hurt either. Everyone loves it. Just feel this fragrance. I would have eaten this pasta myself. I think this pasta is ready too. Ah, oh, it's time to add some ketchup. Yeah. Paige, it's time to try. Finally, how delicious everything is here. Mmm, only this noodles in the kettle confuse me a little. Perhaps I'll start with the tasting here. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. What a mess! Now I'll try the pasta with my favorite sausage. Mmm. So good! That's a completely different matter. Very tasty. The last here? Ooh, spaghetti with cheese? There is nothing tastier. Mmm, this is just heaven! Grandma, you've won! Haha, <laughs> I knew I was going to win! Learn from me! It's really delicious! In the second round, I want you to cook me a cookie like this. You know, like from Shrek. 
Oh, uh, and how is this done? Huh, very easy. Maybe you'll give the victory to me right away? Yeah, right. Granny comes into play too. Ugh! You shouldn't have stretched your neck like that. First, you need to sift the flour. And of course, add the necessary seasonings. Nowhere without cinnamon, right? Just like this. What do you say, Grandma? Uh, what about sugar? What kind of cookies are made without sugar? Stir a little bit. Just like that. Yeah! Oh, I think I can handle the flour. Or not. Well, now I have my whole face in it. Oh, what a disgusting thing. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, and I'll continue with my recipe. I didn't forget about sugar. It just needs to be added to the melted butter. And of course, mixed very well. Just like that. Now the sugar will melt too. The resulting mass would be added to the flour, after which all this should be thoroughly wiped with a blender. Yeah, I also remember about the butter, but I will beat it with my hands, because cookies need to be cooked with love. Of course, we must not forget about the syrup. Ah, it's gonna be so sweet and delicious. Uh, how to work with this butter at all? Ugh, it's so slicky. Ugh, it's trying to get out. Um, uh, that's what I'm talking about. But that's okay. One hand is enough for me to mix this up. Um, uh, my dough is almost ready. The only thing left is to turn it into a flat pancake. And it is also very important to measure the resulting pancake. Then, I will know exactly how many cookies I will get. And I use molds for this. So the cookies will be much smoother. Just like that. Look at these buddies. Whoa! You have almost everything ready. How can I catch up with the others? Probably it's time to make cookies out of dough. Yeah, baby. I can definitely handle this case. Perfect! Just like that, we'll make a gingerbread man. Some legs here. And then, you know, stomach. Yeah, wonderful. Uh, flour turns out to be so tasteless. <laughs> My little man is ready. And his home is also ready. It's time to put the cookies in the oven. Well, and will they get ready? Soon, probably. Let's wait. Tadam! Just look at how lovely it turned out. Look at this little man. Wonderful. Uh, I'm still much cooler. Ah. If I saw it at night, I wouldn't be able to sleep anymore. It's time to build a house from my Sandman. Uh, I made all the details of this house with cookies so that it could be eaten later. So many candies, so much sweetness. Uh, looks like a real house. It gives so much New Year's mood. And I get it when I see colored cookies, it's so cute. Oh, right. Sweets are needed for the ice. And I've already eaten most of the whole pack. Oh, no. Well, Chef Betty, of course, surpass herself, but, well, it's fine, too. Oh, no. Uh, you're right. I got a real New Year's paradise. Okay, time to taste. <gasps> How wonderful! So wonderful, I just can't get my eyes off of it. Uh, ew, what's that? Ah, uh, how dry. Mmm, this is no good. But I really like the cookies from the center. Mmm. Besides, oh, they're really tasty. Well, now it's time to start tasting the gingerbread house. Perhaps I'll start with this door. Right? 
Let's taste that. Mmm. Wow. I can't stand how delicious that is. And I already want to devour the whole house. And of course, oh, it's habitants. Mmm, so good. I can't get enough. I'm sorry that the house has turned into ruins, but it's really delicious. Mmm, so good. Betty, you win this time. Yeah, no doubt. Of course, it was clear from the first second 